Hello friends. Here is the only cool thing in Canada that we can do with our gun laws. And that's to own a short barreled rifle. This is non-restricted. We can own other stuff but it's a big pain in the ass. But this you can just buy it. It's just a hunting gun. But you Americans would call it a short barreled rifle. So for the Canadians, uh, I ordered this off Prophet River last year as soon as I saw them in Canada basically which is comical because I ended up getting the the 69th one off the tooling which every young man thinks is hilarious um, put a sling on it half decent sling I put the smaller loop back on uh, I had a standard Henry that I Rob the loop off because I like the smaller ones better. It comes with a big loop. I sent my sight away to Skinner and had them put uh, this taller brass one in. They'll they'll mill it for you and insert this, and then it comes in and then you just zero it by filing it down. And I put mine on my rear receiver. Uh, uh, peep sight on myself just drilled and tapped it wasn't hard the aluminum receiver is really soft though so you got to be super careful which I'm not at all and uh, I didn't screw it up so you shouldn't have any problem so there it is it holds nine rounds um, 22 WMR in this 12 and a half inch barrel is basically up to speed I'm running uh, 40 grain maxi mags, that's all I run through it, all the points, and uh, these are moving along, it says on the box at 1875, and if you look at the website, there's one called Ballistics by the Inch, and uh, they say a 12 inch barrel is, uh, that's up to speed basically at 1850 feet per second, which is cool. So, I was going to show you how good these shoot. I put a steel target out there at about 70 yards and it's black. I painted it black and it's on a black background so that was genius. I shot a few times and uh, I'm not ringing the bell every single time like I should be but oh well. You get the idea. Uh, what else can I tell you? One of the main draws for having a small rifle like this, to me, is uh, I live in town, and so I gotta drive out to go hunting. And the quickest way for me to do it is on a dirt bike. I'll take a pipeline and uh, go out to find dirt roads, basically. And when you get out there, then you have a little rifle like this that that doesn't hit on trees, which is sweet. Um, I don't usually carry it outside the stock, outside the uh, case, because, like I say, I got to leave town, and I don't want to scare the townies. So I put it in this little shotgun scabbard from Eberl stock, and uh, she goes right down in and clips. And uh, there it is. Fits good. Oh, good. I'm going to have some sun. That might uh, last for a few uh, minutes. Anyway, so now I'll try shooting it. To load it, I just keep the uh, chamber open. Drop some rounds down in. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm gonna put the ninth one in. I'll show you what I do every time. I do this every single time. I'm not gonna pretend like I don't. See that? There's one in the chamber now. Put her on half cock. It's a lever gun. 
then I do put my fingertips sort of in front of the barrel, not really, but sort of. There, you have nine rounds, 22 mag, and a very short package. I don't know how many times I hit it. I heard some pinging over there, so I think I did. Uh, the gun will do better than me. If you're thinking that this short little barrel is not worth anything, then I say get one and try it yourself. Maybe put a scope on it if you want to, because they will do it. I guarantee you that if you buy one of these, put a full stock on it, you will be happy with your rifle. That's it. Don't be scared. They are not junk. It's not just a gimmick. I know they come with a small little pistol grip, but uh, if you put a full stock on them, you can get the checkered one, 22 Magno checkered grip and stock from the Henry site. You just call them up and say, send me this, and they'll do it. Cabela's.ca has these right now for like $5.39, which is a good price, that's fine. And, uh, yeah, there it is. Oh yeah, I'll show you one little thing too. This should get everybody fired up. Uh, I'm one of these guys that I love to sit all day and think about different scenarios and how I could be stuck somewhere and all I have is 22 short ammunition. I'm not recommending this, but I'm just showing you.